Hello, this is the Kingdom of Everything, where we talk about anything and everything. I do not blame Chris Tyone. So here's what happened. In round two of the contest between Mike Rodriguez and Ed Herman, Mike Rodriguez landed a knee to the body of Ed Herman. Chris Tyone then stopped the fight because he believed it was an illegal knee to the groin. But upon replay, we see that it's not a knee to the groin, but a knee to the body that has put down Ed Herman. If Mike Rodriguez was pouring it on, I think it would have been a TKO had it uh, not been called a groin shot by Chris Tyone. But Ed Herman was given time to recuperate. Um, I don't know if he took the full five minutes. It certainly seemed that way. So the rest of the round continues, and Ed Herman survives the round. Well, then in round three, Ed Herman locks up a Kimura from the bottom, and Mike Rodriguez is forced to tap. Uh, Dana White, after the, the fight, he put Chris Tyone on blast, but here's the deal. I don't blame Chris Tyone completely. I do believe it was an error on his part, but let's get to the real root of the problem. Chris Tyone should have had access to instant replay. Why is it only being used for the announcers? Even if it was just another referee to monitor the camera at all times, like Herb Dean or one of the others, uh, given that information, Chris Tyone could have done a number of things. He could have stopped the fight. He could have forced Ed Herman to continue, uh, which I think would have been the right call. Another thing, I saw a lot of people on Twitter blaming Ed Herman. You can't blame a UFC fighter for doing what it takes to win a fight. Um... I heard things were kind of smoothed over a little because Mike Rodriguez got paid his win bonus, which I don't know how much that means to a UFC fighter if they lose the fight. Uh, I'd be happy, but then again, I don't fight in the UFC. So, But if I'm Mike Rodriguez, I wouldn't really worry that much. If you have Dana White publicly saying that you got ripped off in the fight, that's a good position to be in. you got to understand... In the new landscape of the UFC, wins don't matter as much as they used to. Another thing you could say is really, losses really don't matter as they used to. Let's look at Angela Hill, for instance. She lost a close split decision to Claudia Gedalia, yet she's still in the main event against Michelle Watterson. People think she won that fight, I myself included, but she still lost a close split decision. Let's look at Jose Aldo. He lost a decision to Marlon Moraes, but people think he won. Even Dana White thinks he won. He got a title shot against Pedro Jan. And then we can look at Yoel Romero. He has lost his last three fights, albeit a little controversy maybe in the second Robert Whitaker fight. Some people thought he won. Um, that's up for debate. He lost. I, it was a close fight against uh, Paula Costa. But he really did put on amazing performances in those fights, despite of what the uh, verdict was in the end. He's, he fought for the title against Israel Adesanya. So it's just confirming what we already know. If the UFC brass likes you, you'll get good matchmaking. I really don't think this recent fight between uh, Cheeto Vera and Sean O'Malley, I don't know if that'll really put a damper on Sean O'Malley's career at all. Uh, albeit there could be some issues with the leg injury um, if that should return. But I think Sean O'Malley, I hate to say this, Sean O'Malley might get better matchmaking than Marlon Vera does, which I don't think should be the case. I think Cheeto Vera is a beast. I thought he won against Song Yudong, and I thought it was a clean win against Sean O'Malley. Um, it's just not a good look when you think maybe... Sean O'Malley had a pre-existing injury, but I thought it was a clean win. Marlon Vera is a beast, um, and I think he deserves a good matchup, but I don't know if that's going to happen. If the UFC brass believes you won, they will adjust the matchmaking accordingly. That's a good thing and a bad thing, um, because we've seen MMA judging has shown to be flawed. I mean, just look at the Max Holloway rematch against Volkanovski. I don't think there's a lot of people who think Volkanovski really won that fight. Now, you got people saying, oh, I could see how Volkanovski won, but I don't like to look at a fight like that. I don't like analyzing after the fight and saying, okay, well, 
Volkanovski did this to win. Volkanovski did this. Upon my first view, and I was rooting for Holloway, so um, I'm biased when I watch that fight, but I still think Holloway got three three rounds the two against Volkanovski. Um, I think MMA judges as a whole, I think they're too focused on wrestling and octagon control. Meaning they look at the fighters and if one guy is advancing, they'll just give it to him. If a guy is like puppy guarding the middle of the op- octagon, they'll lean in favor of him or her. I don't even really believe in the stats anymore. If you outlanded an opponent, I don't necessarily think that justifies you winning the round. Um, I think it should be based on damage above all else. And then if damage is a toss-up, um, you can judge it by control. Did they land a takedown? Did they secure that takedown? How long was the fighter kept down? And how much damage did the person on top really do? I think that's sort of what we got to look at when we when they judge these fights. And I don't think that that criteria is being um, applied evenly to all the fights. There are some fights that I think are judged great. Um, then there are some that I, I just can't understand at all. But the thing is, don't blame Chris Tyone too much. This isn't the first time that a ref has missed a knee that was clearly to the stomach, but to the groin. Um, He might have saw something different. It looked like he was on the other side when it happened. So, you know, he's only human. But I think if we want to have these refs do an even better job, you you can give them access to instant replay. Just something to help them get another visual on it. Leave comments below what you think and uh, stay tuned for my next video. Thanks. Bye.